Although Omega needs little introduction, the brand still has many secrets. Today, we're bringing you into an atelier where no video camera has been before. Visiting the Omega facilities tells us a lot about the brand's meticulous obsession with quality and precision. You can see this, for instance, in our previous videos about the Master Chronometer Certification and the Coaxial Escapement. The Omega Manufacture provides a modern setting to operate production activities using cutting-edge technology. Still, one workshop, the Atelier d'Excellence, stands apart. It is a world that blends classic watchmaking know-how with innovation and exacting precision. Firstly, it's the place where some of the Omega's finest watches and movements are crafted by a small team of expert watchmakers. Secondly, it applies the skill of high-end watchmaking or auto jury in French, making it a unique space within Omega's quality manufacturer. Inside this Atelier d'Excellence are two teams manufacturing the finest timepieces, being Team 321, which says it all, and Team Tourbillon. We'll be visiting Team Tourbillon today, so let's have a closer look what's happening inside. We will be looking at two main watches that are manufactured in the Atelier d'Excellence, being the 125th anniversary pocket watch and the Deville Tourbillon Master Chronometer. The Yamaha 125th anniversary pocket watch is a fascinating timepiece. It's based on the reconstruction of the brand's famous 19 lines caliber. The plates, bridges, B-metallic balance spring and the escapement are original parts that have been carefully preserved by the brand. New components, such as the mainspring and the barrel and screws, chaton and jewels, were required to ensure that the caliber meets modern quality standards. The entire gear train and the time setting mechanisms were also completely reworked. The other watch that we'll be looking at today is the Omega Deville Tourbillon Master Chronometer. This stunning timepiece is a continuation of a very special watch. Back in 1994, to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the brand's name, Omega introduced its first serially produced tourbillon wristwatch. It was not just a tourbillon, as it featured the tourbillon cage positioned at the center of the dial. Several evolutions of the model have been presented over the years and in 2020, Omega added everything required to make this watch one of the most advanced tourbillons on the market. The know-how, precision, innovative materials and technical solutions industry-leading magnetic resistance and quality certifications. It is a true master chronometer. In general, you tend to see work specialization and division across the Omega facilities, with watchmakers each working on their own dedicated part of the process. This is something you would usually expect when meeting the stringent constant quality criteria for serial production. On the contrary, the team Tourbillon work the entirety of the manufacturing process. Watchmakers not only perform the assembly of the watches, but also the finishing and even the manufacturing of movement parts. While they implement some of the brand's most innovative techniques and processes, they also reenact century-old techniques, patiently hand-finishing parts, eventually working with all types of ancient machines and tools. In this respect, the Atelier d'Excellence comprises a dedicated mechanical workshop, equipped with a full set of tools that is adapted to their specific needs with the ability to manufacture or decorate literally any component autonomously. It is specifically adapted to operate small series of prototypes in coherence with the workshop's exclusive production. When using these traditional machines, the goal is to align with heritage, but making it better. To do so, these machines have been upgraded with certain functionalities or digital readouts to enhance precision. And some of these machines are used, for example, to manufacture modern parts for the 125th anniversary pocket watch, such as the wheels, bridges and main plates. 
Others are there to decorate parts, for instance, to apply the signature damaskining pattern on the bridges, following a style that was first used by Omega in the earlier years of the 20th century. As said, each master watchmaker performs a complete role in the auto luxury tradition, including the assembly, the regulation of the movement, and the finishing operations, with each part being polished to perfection. For example, the 125th anniversary pocket watch, the balancing, adjustment, setting and test of the B-metallic balance are highly delicate operations, which alone require days of work. It also required relearning certain techniques, as these beautiful, sophisticated balance wheels are no longer in use today. The workshop is even equipped with a temperature test chamber, which ensures the calibers can be controlled and checked in line with the cost criteria. As far as the Omega de Ville Tourbillon Master Chronometer is concerned, it is a watch like no other. Time is indicated by small faceted 18 karat gold hands that are literally floating around the tourbillon. But there's a magic trick. These hands are mounted on two sapphire discs that are driven by peripheral goerings that are hidden underneath the dial's inner ring. The main plate and bridges are made from solid 18 karat Sedna gold and these are frosted using an ablative laser technique. All the reft, the polished screws and sinks, the beveled wheel spokes, the straight grain surfaces are all executed by hand in the most traditional way. In particular the inward beveling that is a signature of high-end watchmaking and know-how. The tourbillon itself integrates the brand's coaxial escapement which is quite something in itself already. Compared to previous versions, the titanium case has been modernized in terms of shape, color and finish. The result of this meticulous assembly is spectacular. In particular, the sharp polished angles on the cage combined with the matte frosted black surfaces. Last but not least come the final quality checks to ensure that every watch is manufactured as it should. The 125th anniversary pocket watch is a COSC certified chronometer, reaching the stricter and specific criteria demanded for a pocket watch. The Yamaha Greville Tourbillon Master Chronometer, despite being in Tourbillon, is certified to the stringent Master Chronometer standards. This means that the movement complies with the standard of METAS, including the rock-solid magnetic resistance of the most Omega watches, 15,000 Gauss, the industry's benchmark. And being a Master Chronometer, it also means superior chronometric performance and a test procedure that is done on the entire watch, so not just the movement, as well as a five-year warranty. While we mainly know Omega as the watch that went to the moon and the watch on James Bond's wrist, there is so much more to the brand that supplies astronauts and secret agents. Proper high-end watchmaking in the most modern setting you can imagine, crafting a sophisticated tourbillon movement, complying with the most demanding standards of the entire watch industry. Now that is, in my eyes, very special.